Welcome to another episode of Save or Splurge Summer Handbag Edition. Today we're gonna to talk about five summer handbags and we're gonna see are they splurge worthy or should you save your money? Let's get started. When I think of summer handbags, I think of straw and raffia and linen and textures like that. So the first handbag that we're gonna talk about is the Chloe Woody Tote. Um, this one retails for $1,090. It does come in a bigger size. It also comes in a smaller size. And Chloe has now just launched an entire collection based off of this handbag. There now are options with fringe and lots of textures and embroidery and tons of coloring. It is just crazy how they've really uh, this entire bag has created an entire collection just on this particular bag. It's available in so many different colors. This is going to be more of the classic coloring combo. It also comes in black. I've seen it in blue, but if you're wanting something a little bit more fun and just a little bit more colorful and playful, they definitely have you covered, but this is going to be kind of talking about the bag in general. Obviously the vibe of the bag is very like spring and summer. You've got this like canvas, almost kind of linen-y texture. You've got the web straps. You do have a little bit of a leather detail here. You also have the leather detail on the side and it does go all the way around through the entire bag. Um, like I said, it does come in a few different sizes and this is gonna be the medium size. Now, the reason why I picked this particular size was because I was looking for a summer spring tote that felt more like a handbag. I didn't want this like oversized jumbo catch-all bag. I wanted something that still gave that tote-esque look which i think this does but in a size that was manageable for every day and for styling so i thought this would be great with uh like outfits like dresses and rompers and denim cut off shorts and things like that but do not be confused um, even though i didn't get this for the size it's actually really really roomy the size is one main compartment and then you do have one smaller pocket there in the back but other than that it's a very very simple um, you know, not fussy interior whatsoever. It is um, like a canvas linen-y type of material on the inside. So if you are worried about stains or spills, you might consider getting a, a liner for this one, but I wouldn't personally get anything too thick. Otherwise it is gonna take away from the sizing. As far as longevity of this bag and the style being on trend and in style, I think the fact that Chloe has decided to like I said, create an entire line around this particular bag. I think this bag is here to stay. I think that season after season, we're gonna see Chloe uh, try to create different silhouettes and styles and textures and fabrics of this bag so that this particular style of bag can live as long as people love it. I've seen it even in suede, which you guys know, yes, you can wear suede year round, but I personally prefer the texture of suede in the fall and winter months. So I think that if you like this bag, but you're looking for something a little bit more fall and winter, the suede version is absolutely stunning. Now in regards to the price, that just over $1,000 price, I've talked a lot about the price of handbags lately. It is really, really difficult to get a luxury handbag um, under $1,000. Actually, even under $1,500 is really, really difficult these days. So I will say, obviously the price point for a luxury handbag, it is a good price point. However, you do have to keep in mind the fabric that you're getting and also the fact that this is a Chloe handbag. Even though I do consider Chloe a luxury handbag, I would say that it is probably on the lower level of luxury in regards to uh, the luxury name. So if you were to put, you know, Hermes and Chanel and Louis Vuitton, they're going to be more at the top. And I think that Chloe is going to be a little bit more at the beginning or more of an entry level. So I do think you have to consider the fact that it's a Chloe bag versus a Chanel bag or a YSL bag. And then the fact that it is not an all leather bag, it is a cloth bag as well. With that said, I do still think that this price point for what you get for the fact that it is going to be a bag that you are going to be able to wear for many many years to come because of the fact that Chloe has really really latched on to everybody loving the style I do think that this one is splurge worthy for sure next up let's talk about the Prada uber famous super popular 
straw bag. This one, to my knowledge, I could be wrong here, comes in two different sizes. This is the larger size, and then there is a smaller size. This one is gonna be that typical beach slash pool tote. It is huge and oversized, and then obviously it's an all straw bag. This totally screams summer vacation. I love, love, love this bag. I'm not saying you can't style it, because you totally can style this bag. However, when I look at this bag, I think of vacation. I think of pool day, I think of beach day. That is what I think of. It is massive. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the stuffing just so you can see how big this bag is. But I also want you to note how slouchy this bag is. So now that the stuffing is gone, the structure of the bag is also completely gone. So I don't know if I talked about the price of this one. This particular size retails for $2,050. And that's kind of crazy when you're just talking about a straw bag. However, I feel like this one, the second it launched, everybody wanted to get their hands on it, including me. I was really, really drawn to this particular bag because even though I feel like it is super, super popular right now, I just feel like this is gonna be a bag that I'm gonna be able to pull out in 10 years and I'm still gonna love it just as much as the day that I bought it. With that said, let's go ahead and look at what the bag actually is. You've got these shorter handles, right? They're a little bit thicker. They're super, super soft. This raffia is super, super soft. The inside is absolutely nothing. There is not a pocket in sight. It is a tag. And then, of course, you can see the stitching from the front. That is it. You've got one Prada logo here. It is a silver tone, like a black hardware, absolutely nothing on the back, and then absolutely nothing on this side, and then absolutely nothing on the bottom. Uh, you definitely need something in here for it to keep its shape, or you need to have it full, because even if you had it filled to here, the top is still gonna like fall over just like that. It literally has no structure. It needs a, a lot of help when it comes to that. Size-wise, like I said, I definitely feel like this is total beach, total pull bag. Not that you can't style it because you totally could, but it just screams vacation to me. And it is huge. This is going to be able to fit all of your handbag essentials, as well as a water bottle, a towel, extra sunscreen, snacks, like all of the things for beach and pool. You're going to be able to fit it all in here super, super comfortably. The bag itself is extremely lightweight. I mean, it is extremely, extremely lightweight, so it's not going to add a lot of weight or a lot of bulk, and it's going to be super, super easy to pack with. You could literally just fold it up, put it at the bottom of your suitcase like this, and it virtually packs really, really flat. So I will say, this is going to be a very easy bag to travel with. It's going to be a very easy bag to carry around with you because of the fact that it's super lightweight. However, you do have to keep in mind the size of the handles. These handles are top handle or crook of the arm only. You cannot put this on the shoulder, so you're not going to have that extra comfort that you would get from a crossbody bag, not that you would crossbody a tote, but I'm just saying, or a shoulder bag. It is a top handle or a crook of the arm bag, so you've gotta keep that in mind as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about the price. This bag, again, retails for just over $2,000, and I'm gonna be really, really honest here. Yes, I bought this bag, um, so I wanted it, but I think that you could save your money on this one. I think there are better options out there that you can get the same look the same style, maybe not product brand, but you can get the same vibe for a much better price point. I actually have one that I'm about to share with you. Um, do I love this bag? Yes, but I definitely feel like for this one, I'd save your money. I almost sent this bag back and I am so glad that I didn't because I actually think this is a great alternative to the Prada. Yes, it's a different size. Yes, it's a very, very different look. But if you are looking for a beach pool or even styled tote for summer, this one is seriously perfection. I actually think this is a good 
right in that middle size where it's not as small as the woody tote that we saw in the beginning it's not as large as the prada tote that we just saw it's somewhere kind of in the middle where it's perfect for the beach or the pool but it also can be styled because it's not too big and bulky i really have fallen in love with this one so this is the chloe woody straw tote it currently retails for $725. It's going to be, I think, the best price point in today's video. Um, the fact that you can get this bag under $1,000 and quite a bit under $1,000, I think is amazing. This to me is the best value that we're going to talk about today. Um, and again, it screams spring and summer to me. I can see this with the perfect like summer or spring Easter dress, but it's also perfectly styled with summer outfits as well. Size wise, it's massive. No, it's not as big as the Prada tote, but it is extremely roomy in here. I talked about this in a YouTube video, so I'll try to link that video down below for you guys so you can see everything and how my stuff fits inside. Um, but one of the things that I want to point out that I really love about this that I cannot say about the Prada. Yes, I love the Prada and I don't regret buying that, but I'm just trying to be really, really honest with you about these bags. Um, look at the strap drop. So yes, you can obviously wear this handheld. You can wear it on the crook of your arm, but you can also wear this on the shoulder so this is going to be a much more comfortable bag to carry and have whether it's day to day whether it's on vacation it's just going to be a much more comfortable bag to carry around you've got the canvas webbing you've got this like leather like little bottom i don't really i don't really understand why they did it i think that's kind of silly but i guess it does protect the webbing, um, but I feel like just the straw bottom would have been fine. On the inside, there is nothing, no pockets or anything, but I don't know why, it doesn't bother me. There's just like the logo, like the Chloe logo detail. It's a very simple bag. Yes, you've got the Chloe logo, but I don't know why, I just feel like it works. I don't feel like it feels stuffy or anything, or even, how, dare I say it, logo-y? I don't know, I don't know how to explain that this doesn't look logo-y, even though you see Chloe all over it. It just doesn't to me. It's just done in a very simple, understated way, I feel like. Um, but I really just love this bag. So if you haven't already guessed, this is a splurge-worthy bag, and I actually think that when we're talking about luxury handbags, this price point, I think it's a good deal. I think this is gonna be the best value that we're talking about today. And if you want this bag, you need to get it because I had it on pre-order and it was on pre-order for three months. I forgot that I had even ordered it and it just showed up one day. Um, it's on pre-order now. I will put the link down below to pre-order it. You need to get on the list because this one sells out really fast really fast. Um, I just think it is such a good value. Um, and if I remember correctly, I want to say it was 680 or 690 recently and it's 725 now and Chloe's going to catch on and they're going to make this pricier. So I would grab it now. Grab it now if you want it. This one is totally splurge worthy. So this is gonna be the only crossbody bag that we are gonna talk about today. This is the Balmain crossbody bag. I don't, I don't know if this has a specific name, but again, we've got this texture here in this beautiful like linen canvas. I love the fact that you've got this mixed media of the linen canvas with the leather, and then you've got this beautiful uh, like touch, not too much, gold hardware. I just feel like this is a beautiful bag. And the fact that this one is under a thousand dollars, in my opinion, again, so difficult to get a handbag at that price point. I just think this is a really, really good value. So obviously spoiler alert, this one is definitely splurge worthy in my opinion, just because I feel like the value you get for it is just so amazing. And it's really, really difficult to find a handbag um, under $1,000, much less under $1,500 uh, that is gonna be an actual practical bag. Um, this one has an adjustable strap. You do have the adjustability there. Um, it's not a big bag, but you're gonna be able to fit all of your essentials that you could possibly need, phone, keys, mini wallet, you know, lipstick, you know, sanitizer, lotion, all of that will be able to fit in here. Um, and it's a very simple bag, so you do have the Balmain logo here. I know some of you are not big logo-y fans, but this doesn't, again, like the Chloe, this one, yes, it is got a logo here, but it doesn't feel super logo-y. It feels done very simply. 
but it is plain on this side. So when you wear it, if you wanna carry it with this on the outside, you could do that as well. It's a very, very simple bag, but I think because of the simplicity of it, but you still have the different textures, it's really gonna go with anything that you could possibly wear for spring and summer. And I know that we are in the summer months and we're talking about summer handbags today, but I also like to think long-term when I'm thinking about my handbag. So think about this for next spring. You're gonna be able to wear this with all of those spring dresses and rompers and denim shorts and chinos and things like that. I just think it's a really good bag and a really good value as well. And I think that this is gonna be the second best value that we're talking about in today's video. So definitely, definitely splurge worthy in my book. And last but certainly not least is my Chanel Deville bag in the small size. So this bag also comes in a ton of other uh, fabrics and materials. So obviously there are other options that can be worn year round. But when I think of this particular bag and this particular fabric, uh, I think of spring and summer. Not that you can't wear this year round, but for me, this is a spring and summer handbag. So I totally thought this was perfect to talk about in this particular video. Like I said, this is the small size. This is the newer version that has both the handle as well as the chain strap. This one currently retails for $3,700. So this is gonna be the most expensive bag that we're talking about in today's video but it is also the highest level tier luxury brand that we are talking about in today's video. So let's go ahead and do just a quick little overview of the bag. Um, it actually reminds me uh, a lot of the other bags we've talked about. We've got the logo-y front, very, very clean and simple on the backs and the sides, nothing on the bottoms. You do have two different strap options, which I love. It's the only bag today that has two different strap options. The inside, again, very simple. You've got a zipper pocket. There does also come with a little smaller pouch. I left it upstairs. And then you've got two smaller slip pockets here in the back. Size-wise, it's very nice and roomy. Um, not too big, not too small. Um, I personally have wanted a De DeVille bag for a long time. I included one in a wish list many, many years ago. And I really just kind of struggled with the size. I really wanted the look of the large because it had the two strap options, but I wanted the size of the small. Not that I dislike the large in general. I just knew that when I got this bag, I wanted it in a smaller size. I wanted more of a, a bag look instead of a tote look, right? And when and I liked the small, but I didn't like the fact that it didn't come with both strap options until now. So when I saw that they had this one available when they launched this particular style, and then they had it in my absolute favorite color, a nude of course I had to snag it up so I really really love this bag however I do want to kind of talk a little bit about the pros and the cons and then we'll dive into whether I think this is splurge worthy or if you should save your money so obviously we're talking about Chanel here the price point of Chanel like a few other brands have just gone absolutely through the roof it's almost difficult to be honest to talk about it without sounding absolutely ridiculous because the prices have just gotten ridiculous. I feel like luxury brands are making it a lot less attainable to get their bags. And I get it from a luxury brand perspective. That's kind of the whole point. They want to feel more exclusive. And, and I get that and I can totally respect that on so many levels, not only as a collector, but also uh, from the brand's perspective. I, I feel like it totally makes sense. However, for the average consumer, it does make it difficult, not only getting your hands, whether you have the funds or not, not only getting your hands on one, because that then creates this supply and demand situation, which they also know what they're doing for that as well, but it creates this supply and demand. So getting a bag that you want is difficult in and of itself, but then the price point, just getting to a point that is absolutely ridiculous um, makes it even more difficult to uh, get depending on your budget. Um, so let's go ahead and talk it like a little bit out. And this is not a simple save or splurge final verdict here. Um, I do this every once in a while and for good reason. Um, if I were talking to someone like myself, a collector, someone that has a diverse collection, is looking to add classic bags or even just more niche bags to their collection that are gonna be around for many, many years, if not forever. This is gonna be one of those bags that I'll be able to pull this out in 20 years and people are gonna be like, oh my goodness, that's a Chanel DeVille, right? Like, it, even if they discontinue this, 
people are gonna remember this bag, right? Like it has made its mark in the luxury space. It just has. I feel like this is the never full version that Chanel offers, right? Um, it's just such a sought after bag in the Chanel luxury space when you're wanting Chanel, but a casual bag from Chanel. Um, a lot of people think of Chanel as very like, uppity and stuffy bags because that flap has that look to it right whereas this is going to be that more everyday very very casual silhouette that anybody can wear no matter what your lifestyle is um however we are talking about thirty seven hundred dollars for basically a canvas very very simple very little leather very little hardware bag so if we're talking to someone like myself that um you know collects bags and stuff then sure i think this is worth adding to your collection but i want to talk to the average consumer i want to talk to the majority of the people that are watching my videos and i want to just be really really honest with you um, if i had thirty seven hundred dollars and i had saved that money and i had maybe saved it from birthdays and Christmases and special occasions and you were saving for that one luxury handbag, would I tell you to spend $3,700, basically $4,000 on this one from Chanel? I wouldn't. I would tell you to save your money and put it on a bag that was more wearable for year round. Now again, we're talking about this particular bag right here. I would tell you to choose something um, a little bit more wearable for year round. Look at your lifestyle. What do you want? Do you want a cross body? Do you want a tote, right? Like maybe you get this in a leather version, but again, we're talking a different price point. So I just wanna really, really talk to the average consumer thinking about that. This to me, if you can afford this price range and it's not gonna affect your everyday life, right? It's not gonna take away from the true necessities of life, then go for it. But most people are watching my videos to help them decide to purchase their first bag or their second bag or their third bag. And I feel like this is the kind of bag that you add to your collection after you already have those essentials, those handbag. Once you have those handbag essentials, then you start adding something like this at this price point, assuming it's within your budget. But so as much as I love this bag and I definitely do not regret buying this one at all. Like I love this bag. This is one of my favorite bags for sure in my collection. If I were to go down to like 10 handbags, this one, this one would be included for sure. Um, but I still, as a reasonable, <laughs> reasonable human being cannot say yes you need to spend $4,000 on this cloth handbag. I just can't reasonably do that. So unfortunately, Chanel, I love you. Don't turn your back on me. I have to say, I have to say save your money. <laughs> save your money. Buy the Chloe bag instead. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was really fun. I loved like niching it down to summer luxury handbags. I will link all five of these handbags down below in the info box. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I talk a lot about luxury and fashion here on my channel. So hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Before you head out, watch one of these and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.